glad to see you around to join my Alone Together chord melody jazz guitar lesson. Hi my diligent little jazz bees around the globe, Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. You'll learn all the great jazz guitar chords and how to weave the melody in between them. We call this chord melody playing. I'll show you everything note for note, slow and easy, and I'll play through each of the phrases at slow tempo as well. Uh, I've made taps and a backing track, which you can download from one of the links down below in the uh, description box. Please read the short download instructions right next to one of those links. So uh, before I show you everything note for note, I'll play through the entire song now. So let's get started. Alone Together has quite an unusual song form. We have an A, A, B and C section. The A section are 14 bars long and the B and the C section are both 8 bars long. And we are in the key of D minor but uh, the A1 and A2 section end on D major. So this is kind of a mixed D minor D major song. All right, here we go. All right, we're in the key of D minor and we start with the D uh, tone here on the seventh fret of the G string, but I already bar the entire chord. That's uh, in a four strings, uh, five, seven, seven, six. And I play the G string alone. Then I remove my pinky and now I get a D minor seven. All right, so five, seven, five, six in a four strings. And I strum through it. You could strum or hybrid pick. And since this is a ballad, or, or almost a ballad, it's slow swing, I kind of arpeggiate through the strings. Look at this. This takes a little practice. Okay, all right. Rest, and I go over to B half diminished. This is a one, six, two, five chord progression in D minor. That's a B in the bass. Here's seventh fret, seven, seven, six, right? Then I fret that D again, it's still lying here. I'll leave it here and now I have a tricky chord. That's an E half diminished uh, inversion. I start with the flat fifth in bass, that's the B flat. Is I, I have a tutorial on uh, drop three voicing, that's what they called, and inversions, all right? Check out my inversions video. Six, then five of D, seven of G is already lying here, and the fifth of the E string by barring, all right? Don't play the A string. Then I play the B string again, and then I go over to A7. That's five, here's the A, five, six, five. 
okay? You could also thread these things in a different way, but the thumb uh, has a great advantage. Alright, now the resolution D minor 9, that's the D here, 5, 3, 5, 5. Check out my tensions video, everything's up here on my channel. Rest, then I play the, the D, which I get by removing my uh, pinky and barring over to get that D. I just need the D, but since I come back to the D minor, I'll leave everything lying here, okay? I, so I don't play and go back. I play, all right, D minor, then just the D, back to D minor 9. And now I move my pinky to the right and I have the F here on the 6th fret of the B string. Right? And now again a 2-5-1, that's an E half diminished. This time my favorite piano voicing, E half diminished 9-11, that's a really modern kind of sound. We have the 8, 7, 7 and 5th fret of the upper 4 strings. And then the A altered chord that belongs to it is 5, 6, 6, 5. The root is on top. You could also play the root, take advantage of the open A string. Sometimes I do that and I kind of strum through the entire chord, right? So this or this. Both is possible. All right, and now let me repeat phrase number one at slow tempo for you. Two, three, four. We start with the D minor 9 chord again, but this time the upper four strings voicing. And this is how I played uh, 3, 5, 5, 5. I use my um, pinky now because I'm I have a little injury on my ring finger so um, but you should do that with your ring finger so um, then the third of the uh, B string I keep being I keep being barred is that correct then D minor 9 that's 5 3 5 5 in a four strings we had this before move your pinky to the right and get the F here alone and now a 2-5-1 in the key of G minor, modulate, the song modulates now, A half diminished, 5-5-4-5, five, 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 up of upper four strings, uh, here is the root, the A, and it's 5 chord, that's comfortable to change, D7 flat 9, 4-5-4-5, four, five, four, five. and this is a diminished chord, and you guessed it, I have a video on uh, why and how to use diminished chords over altered chords because they substitute them. All right, the the one chord is the G minor nine. That's uh, like the D minor nine. Just move it up the neck. Here is the G now on the A string. Always memorize where your root is. Here is the root, so you can move it. The guitar has all movable chord shapes. Okay, this is how it works. Ten, eight, ten, ten in a four strings. Um, then I go to the 8th fret of the B string by barring. We had actually the same thing on the D minor before, right? Back to G minor 9 and move your pinky out to the right and we get the 11th fret of the B string alone. And that's usually how you do a lot of chord melody stuff. You play a chord on beat 1 or the first uh, beat that happens. Then you play a single note, chord, single note. You could, of course, play everything in chords. This would be called block chords, but you it's not as smooth, okay? We usually do that at slow ballads. And everything else, we weave uh, single notes in between. All right, and now another G minor seven up here. This is the G on the 10th fret again. And I bar through to get uh, 10, 11, 10 of the upper three strings. I just play the upper three plus the bass twice in a regular jazz rhythm. 
voice, that's not the melody anymore, it's just a rhythm filler. All right, and this was phrase two, and uh, I played at slow tempo now for you. Two, three, four. All right, and this is phrase number 3A, and we have the first ending of the A section, so the first house in the notation. The last phrase ended on that G minor 7, and we still are there, and I play the uh, 10th fret of the E string while still being barred. Uh, that's the 4 end. Uh, and now I go to B minor 11, that's a 2-5 one now. Actually, just a 2-5, sorry. B minor 11. Here's the B, that's the 9th fret, 11, 10, and 12th fret. Upper four strings, and we go to its 5 chord, the E7 sharp 5. We had this on A before, now let's move it to E. Remember when I told you to memorize the uh, root? The root was on top. 12, 13, 13, 12 from top. E7 sharp 5. 2, 5 chord progression. Uh, then I go to the 10th fret of the E string and I play that with my pinky because now I go down to, to the, that was the 10th fret and now I go down 5, 7, 6, 8, that's a G minor 11 chord, just like the B minor but on G. I play the 4 strings and the uh, E string again. Little rest going to C7 sharp 5, same chord we had on E and A. Now it's on C. Here's the C, 8, 9, 9, 8. All right, so you gotta memorize this by now. Uh, dominant 7 sharp 5 chord, C7 sharp 5. All right, um, then I stretch over to the 11th of the B string, play that B string, go one to the left, and have my, my F major 7 chord, standard chord. Um, Here's the F, 8, 10, 9, 10 in a 4 strings. Then I leave these fingers here, refret the other two, and I get 9, 10, 8, 10. And this is an F sharp diminished or a B7 flat 9 chord. And um, yeah, so we go from here. And that's the 5 chord that leads us to the E minor 11 chord and we play that up here. E on the 12th, no A string. We never play an A string when we start a chord, a jazz chord on the E string. Okay, this would be too muddy to include any uh, notes on the A string. 12, 12, 12, 10. Right? And now a little melody. Seven of D. And I slide on the B string, 8 to 10th, go to 8, and here's the resolution, D major 7. I told you this song is a mix between D minor and D major. First and second ending is D major, and, it, um, and the whole song ends on D minor, so I would say it's in D minor. Right, D major 7, 5, 7, 6, 7. Play the B string again, the whole th thing again, right? And now we need a 2-5 that leads us back to the D minor chord from the beginning because the A section is being repeated with a different ending. So the 2-5 of D minor is E minor and A7. E minor 9, 7-5-7-7, seven, seven, seven. play the B string again, and an A7 shell voicing. That's just the, or guide tone voicing, just the guide tones, the root, and then the guide tones, uh, the seventh and the third. So that's five, five, six, A7, basic shell voicing. All right, and here is the entire phrase number three A at slow tempo for you. Two, three, four. Now you repeat 
everything, phrase number one, phrase number two, and phrase number three A until the last two bars, because they are now phrase number three B, okay? So the last two bars we had in the A1 section, now since we don't go back to A after the A2 section, but we go to the B section, we don't need that 2-5 anymore. So all we need to do now is play the D major 7, first bar same as 3A, and now we just go, that's just a filler up, okay, no more melody. I played D major, C sharp major, oh, that's a bad angle, and back. Then I play the seventh of the um, G string because that's my pickup uh, pick bar for the um, pickup note for the B section, okay? So this is the entire phrase number 3B at slow tempo. 3, 4. Welcome to the B section. These are the first four bars and this is a little tricky. It's a 2-5-1 in the key of G minor. We start with A half diminished and again I would fret this uh, like this usually but I can't press down hard because I have a little injury. So this is a 7-8-8-8 index and ring finger usually. So um, we play that twice. A half diminished and the 5 chord as we already learned is a D7 flat 9 and we can use a, half, a diminished chord again 7 8 7 8 that's a, a diminished as well we had before a 2 5 1 and here's another it's the same thing just a little a little further up on the neck all right different voicings now I go down three to the one we had in in the A section four five four five and we can do that because diminished chords repeat themselves all three frets on the fretboard. They are symmetrical chords. They consist of only minor thirds. So they repeat themselves all minor thirds, all three frets. Right. Then I play the uh, sixth fret of the E string alone. Go back to the uh, diminished chord on the seventh. Move it up three frets. One, two, three. I'm on the uh, tenth fret now. And move down one fret to the tenth. All right. So this is the whole diminished uh, or D7 flat nine phrase. All right. Those are six equally long notes over an entire bar. We have quarter note triplets. Spread it like chewing gum. So it really are every note has the same length. Okay. And the resolution is a G minor chord and there's no melody going on in this one. So what I did for two bars, that's pretty long, instead of playing some kind of rhythm, I, I play uh, a ba walking bass line. That's cool. G minor 7, that's um, 10, here's the root, 8, 10, 11 of the inner four strings. I, I play the bass first, the A string, and then the upper three. Now I move to a fifth below, to the fifth. That's the 10th fret of the E string. Now I play the 7th uh, of the chord. That's the 8th of the A string, the F. Try to keep everything else ringing. Sounds a lot cooler. Chromatic on the 9th. Back to the G minor. Upper 3. Minor 3rd on the, um, the B flat. Then the 10th uh, of the D string and the 7 of the G because that's the pickup melody for the next bar. So here's the bass line. All right, and here's the entire phrase number 4 at slow tempo. 3, 4. And here are the last four bars of the B section. This is phrase number five. Uh, we actually have the same thing we had on the A half diminished. We are now in the key of um, F minor. At least we start in F minor. That's a G half diminished. Five, six, six, six. All right. Um, we play that twice. 
and now the same thing with the uh, five chord we had before but two frets to the left so instead of being here we are now here seven eight seven eight that's a c7 flat nine or a g diminished go down three move up two go down uh, go up one play the diminished go up three go down one play the single note all right Six equally long notes. Resolution now is not F minor, but F major. That's the clue, the thing. All right, um, eight, 10, nine, 10 in a four strings is F major. B7 flat five, tritone substitute. Here's the B, seven, eight, and six. Seven, seven, eight, six. Then I play the B string again. And I turn around to get back to the A section, which starts in D minor. And we already know the D minor turnaround, or 2-5, is E half diminished to A7. So E half diminished 7, 8, 7, 8. And the shell voicing A7 is best for this purpose. Not to imply any melody, because there is no more. So I just play a shell voicing A, G, and C sharp. Right. Here is the entire phrase number five for you at slow tempo. One, two, three, four. And we're almost done. This is the C section. And uh, please repeat phrase number one. That was the first four bars of the A1 section, and now we finish by playing uh, the last four bars of the C section. All right, we start with the D minor, that's a D on the A string, then 5, 6, 5 on the uh, upper three strings. Then I'll play the E string again, G7, here's the G, 5, 7, 6, 7. Go over to the 10th, now B flat 9, here's the B flat, okay. Ring finger, yeah, 12, 13, 13, 13, yeah, that hurts a bit. Okay, then uh, A7 altered, that's, uh, here would be the A, 11, 12, 11, 13, all right, make sure that B string rings, that is ringing, that's the flat nine, cool sound. And before we go to the resolution, the D minor, we play the C sharp. I actually stay barred here. And then I play D minor, low E string, 10th fret, and 10, 10, 10. You could actually also play uh, uh, the upper four strings on the 10th fret. That's a D minor 7 without the root. It's all possible, okay? So here's the whole thing at a slow tempo. Three, four. And the E string again, I forgot that, sorry. Or, all right. If you're into ballads, check out my ballads playlist and my chord melody playlists. I have so much stuff here on my YouTube. I hope you uh, give this video a fair thumbs up, share the love and the knowledge, and I hope to see you next week. Servus, baba!